Hello Virgo, this is Lisa with Inspired Heart Intuitive here for your love reading. I know, that's shocking, isn't it? Love reading from July 16th through July 31st of this year here at this channel. We are here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Well, here we go, Virgo. We're using the um, Angel Tarot deck. Um, for our love readings, okay? If you've never been to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Please do um, check out some of the other videos on the channel here. And if you've been here before, welcome back, welcome back. Everybody, please hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell button so that you are aware of when I put up brand new content. So we're going to pull five cards. First card is going to be... Um, what is the energy coming in to the relationship? Let's just say for the next couple of weeks, if there's a relationship, otherwise just what you're bringing in, um, or what energy is coming towards you over the next couple of weeks in regard to love if you're single. Um, same thing for the energy you're bringing in. And then we'll talk about potential obstacles, uh, what's going to help you overcome them, and then also potential outcome and or advice, okay? So I will try to refer to each as from a single's perspective or from a couple's perspective. As we go forward, um, we'll just make a determination if I should start doing singles or couples separately. So we'll talk about that, okay? Um, but for right now, we're going to do it this way. All right, let's see what is in store for Virgo for the next couple of weeks here, today through the 31st. 2018 today through the 31st 2018 my shelf that's cut I know I'm real picky though I don't want it to like you know, do a lot of different readings. So I'm only going to read, um, I'm not reading reversals with this deck, and you'll see once I start showing you that if something comes out um, reverse, I will acknowledge the fact that it did, and then um, we'll deal with that accordingly, okay? So what you're bringing to the party here, right? Um, Virgo, Seven of Cups, it did come out reverse. So seven of cups of choices. So if you're coupled, right, you guys have been kind of been going through a state of kind of like maybe confusion or you yourself have been a little bit confused and needed some clarity as to what was really going on in the relationship. I just feel like things have been a little wonky with you guys with um, Virgo's period. Things have been a little stressful um, or just a little different, right? Because you are being called to a higher calling and you're really being tested, tried, Poked and prodded, spirit is really stretching you. And if you're coupled out, that could be very difficult for your partner to like deal with, right? Because they're like, what's going on? If you're single and you're trying to like get into some sort of relationship, it'd be real confusing for the person you're trying to date. And if you're single and don't have anyone to mingle with, like having all of these choices, you know, sometimes can be quite overwhelming. But you're coming, regardless, Virgo. I see that you're coming out of that time period of having a lot of choices in regard to love or having a lot of confusion, okay? Now, what you're bringing to the table then is the justice card, or in this deck, she is the angel of integrity. So typical Virgo, you guys are just, you know, you're really living your truth, speaking your truth, and doing things even if it is uncomfortable for you or it's not in what p normal people would think would be your best interest. You're just doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do and speaking that truth because it's the right thing to do. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about Virgos. Sometimes it can be a little blunt. So just kind of be aware of that. <laughs> I'm sure you are, but just watch that a little bit. But you know, you always operate with the utmost integrity and the utmost level of perfection. So this is really for you. You're kind of living your life, right? Um, that is Libra as well. So you could be potentially dealing with the Libra or just taking on Libra tendencies, all right? Now, and the obstacle um, is, the position is the Page of Wands, which is the card of ideas. So we're going to get a little clarification on that, actually. So let's let's start there. Why is this Page of Wands here? Because um, usually creative ideas are a good thing. So I'm wondering if you're kind of in your head about some stuff. 
and wondering some stuff about the other party. And that's the problem. Okay, it looks like story time here. So, we had the Empress. It came out in the reverse. Angel of Abundance. We also had the Knight of Wands. It came out in reverse action. And then um, the Ten of Pentacles, which came out in the reverse for support so or abundance. So, I'm feeling... I'm sensing that right now the ideas that you're having is that this is not like it. This has not proven itself at the moment to be very forward movement, moving, very abundant. You're not feeling like you're your best self lately. You're not really feeling yourself lately in this. Like things have changed between the two of you. If you are um, coupled up, if you are single, you're not sensing that this other person is really going to be what you really want it to be, that they can offer the amount of um, emotional and financial, probably, like you feel like you might have to support them. You're not feeling that it will be very stable, or very abundant for you. You're not really feeling like there's a lot of forward action from this person. They don't have a lot of drive, okay, or ambition, and that's like a problem for, for a Virgo. For you not to have any ambition is a big issue. And you yourself are just not really feeling like, mm, I don't know that I can really, like, manifest. You know, I always call the Empress the Madam of, Madam of Manifestation, right? The Magician is the Mister of Manifestation. The Empress is the Madam of Manifestation. So when she comes up, you know, in the reverse, and you're just like, Mur. okay, that, not a good thing. Now, what's going to help you, the Four of Wands did come up in the reverse. So this is the card for freedom. So... If you're single, and also the potential outcome is the Eight of Wands, which is, the, and it came out in the reverse, so journeys. So if you are single, we're going to delineate right here, single and couples. If you are single, I'm not seeing where partnering up with this person makes a lot of sense to you. I'm not hearing that this makes sense for you. We'll get some clarification single, then I'll put the cards back, and we'll get some clarification for couples. But, so single Virgos. Single Virgos, why is the four of wands here for single Virgos, please? Why is the four of wands here for single Virgos? Because I do feel like there's a divergence in the road at this point. The moon came up um, in the reverse, angel of dreams. So you're not necessarily like this is just leaving you this whole deal. But the moon in the reverse is leaving you very um, unsure of which direction to go. And in fact, um, you know, at first you thought with the nine of wands that you wanted to be, you know, you thought that maybe you could rest in this, but there's no rest in it. Like there's, you feel like it's going to be a lot of work and that it's not going to really profit you much of anything. And then with the high priestess in uh, here, it's just telling me that honestly, this just doesn't feel like it's the right thing to do with the right person. Your intuition is kind of telling you no. And in fact, you're already starting to feel a little bit trapped in the situation with the eight of swords and with the 10 of swords, it's, this is not, this, it's, that's the card of endings, right? So this is not necessarily something that needs to jump off the ground. Um, so with the eight of wands in the reverse for you then, or the eight of wands period, your journey really is a journey of walking away from this person. If you're single, like this is just, I don't, I'm not sensing that this is the one right now. Um, there's a lot of fire energy here, so we could potentially be dealing with a um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, because there's a lot of fire energy that's coming out, or someone just is very passionate and very kind of almost for you guys, Virgo, a little too aggressive. Like, they're just a little, they're aggressive in the wrong way. They're not even ambitiously aggressive. They're just aggressive in the wrong flipping way, and you're just like, really, dude? Can you move around? And dude could be a female or a male. Now, why is the four of wands here for a couple, please? Why is the four of wands here?
for a couple because you guys are already in relationship. So let's see why. So um, it, with the Two of Pentacles, it's like you two are juggling um, a lot of different responsibilities. Home life, work life, you know, life life is just kind of becoming a bit of a test on your relationship. But, you know, with this two, with the Two of Wands, now I feel like there's progress. Remember, this is all going to help you overcome this feeling of, you know, these ideas like, is this really still going to be the thing that I should be doing or we should be doing for the next 10 years, right? The next five years. Is this something for the long term? I do see where there's progress here for you. Um, the Five of Pentacles comes up. You might be feeling like, Virgo, like you're going it on your own, like you're not, your partner's not really in it. But however, um, I think with the Seven of Pentacles, you need to share your vision with your partner. Say, look, this is what I'm thinking. This is how I'm envisioning this working. And, um, and with the Ten of Cups, then you'll find then fulfillment with your partner, but you need to speak to them. Okay, you need to lay it out and don't be harsh. Remember, operate with integrity, okay? It doesn't mean operating with nastiness. Not that you would, but do you understand what I'm saying? Like, sometimes our bluntness can be just totally mistaken, okay? So as a couple, let's look at that, what that journey then to me means. So to me, that journey, that Eight of Wands, even though it came up in reverse, it says no forward movement, I believe what it is is, like, you're not planning on leaving. I don't think that, like, I the potential outcome is... You stay where you're at. Stay where you're planted. Why is this justice card here? Stay where you're planted and don't keep it. Don't move along. You know what I'm saying? You guys have put a lot of effort in, in, into this right now. And your partner is deserves at least a conversation before some crazy determination. Not crazy, but before some determination is made, okay? If you are single, this eight of wands in the reverse came out. And it just means you're not moving towards that person. Um, regardless of which, um, in, in, in clarification for operating with the angel of integrity for justice, we have the queen of swords. That's a level of independence. So the independent thought that you're having and this, like you're probably, you're coming up with these ideas and you're coming up with this, this plan kind of on your own. If you're single, this is, I have to, my truth right now is being independent. My truth is being single. And that's why you had all these choices. Like, you could choose to be booed up if you're single or choose to be single. And this, if your only choice is this person, it's not the right person. If you're with someone, then the choice needs to be, yes, you have to. There is some level of independence and self-partnering that's necessary for any relationship to really continue to work itself out. Um, but be careful that you're not, like, taking on all the burdens from both parties okay with the ten of wands um however the ace of swords again speaking living wielding the truth like just being your living in your integrity and that doesn't mean you take on all everybody's burdens that just means that you live your truth and then you put the bur their personal stuff back over there so they can deal with it but you still need to talk about how that affects the overall relationship and then with the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, this is definitely your energy. So you will be able to add comfort and be able to add stability to the conversation and really add some clarity to it. So I really love this reading for you. Okay, that's what I have for you, Virgos, single and couples. Um, please hit the like, the subscribe, and that bell button. The reason why for the bell is so that you know when I'm putting up brand new content. And also, please leave me some comments. I love to hear the comments. And my um, contact information is down below in the description. So please feel free to contact me if you would like a personal reading or energy healing Reiki session. All right, guys. Until the next time I see you, which hopefully be on one of my live broadcasts, um, peace, love, joy, blessings be unto you today, tomorrow, for all eternity. I love you. Namaste. Bye-bye.